And if you're wanting to laser cut an object in uh, K40 Whisperer, what you're going to do is you're going to draw a sketch in Inventor. So I'm just going to show you the real simple process for doing this. So first of all, we'll start at 2D Sketch, start 2D Sketch, click on a plane, click the shape that we want cut, here, and we can dimension it as usual, and we'll make it uh, 50 millimeters wide, 50 millimeters high. Uh, sort of make it more, even more exciting, chuck a circle in the middle of it, Mention that to being 15 millimeters across. Oh, uh, now we have the object that we're ready to cut out. Uh, we can simply just go to finish sketch, right click on our image here that says sketch one, right comments this here. We're going to come down to where it says export sketch as. You've got AutoCAD DXF. I'm going to save my file type as uh, square circle. And where you need to save this is you're going to come to your R drive. Your one, you don't see this here. If I go store, you'll be in students. Then you come to images. And you'll come down to the next part here is down to documents. And then down to laser cutting, and you'll save it under your teacher's name. In this case, it'll be TYR, and we'll call this square circle, and then save. The next software package that we need to use is the one that's actually driving the software, and this is on the computer that's next to the laser cutter. It's called K40 Whisperer. So all you're going to do is you'll go here and you'll go open design file. Uh, you'll find it again, store, students, uh, images, down to documents, and then down to laser cutting, and TYR, and we're going to find our one that's called square circle, and open, and we can see our shape here. Now, when you plug in the laser cutter, you'll click on initialize laser cutter. I'm not plugged in, so I won't do that. Then you'll be able to drag this image around where on your material you'd like it to be cut. Um, what you can set up here is the cutting speed. So if I was going to be cutting through acrylic, I'd set this to 5 millimeters a second and one pass. And because you can see that some red text here, and this is red, then it will cut. So all I'd have to do to cut out my um, the square and circle is I'd hit vector cut, and it would start. That's as simple as it is.